how to create a Shopify landing page with Pagefly. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can build your Shopify landing page using Pagefly. So let's get into it. Now I have already created my Shopify account and if you're looking to create a landing page, I'm pretty sure you know how it goes. You just have to click on start free trial and you can start your free trial with Shopify and get started over there. Now I have previously built my online store but I haven't completed it yet so I'm going to build a landing page using Pagefly to maybe display my discounts or display a certain thing that I want to promote via that landing page. This can be super helpful in terms of building audiences from social media platforms. Landing pages can be immensely helpful when you're trying to promote your sales, when you're trying to promote a special feature or a limited time item. Now, to integrate Pagefly into Shopify, just head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Once you are on your Shopify dashboard, just go into your search bar, click on apps, and then search for Pagefly. I have already downloaded Pagefly, so I'm just opening it up. If you haven't already, you will just see the Pagefly integration and you will just install that and allow it access to your Shopify store. And that is it. That will be all the setup that you need. And then you're going to be headed to this dashboard. This is what you're going to get once you enable Pagefly and give it permission to access Shopify. And once we have done that, we're just going to click on pages on the left side of our screen. Then we want to start building a landing page. So for this, I'm going to click on pages and click on regular pages. And I can just click on create from a template over here. And I can choose a template to use to build my landing page. The best part about using Pagefly is that you can create amazing, uh, super professional websites and web pages or landing pages on a very, very limited time or a very limited budget because building these kinds of pages can lead to a lot of costs. So if you have to hire a designer, find a appropriate design, or if you have to learn how to code it. So it can either take, take too much time or too much money to build such amazing pages, but uh, Pagefly can really simplify it for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on landing pages on the left side of our screen. So this has filtered out only the templates that are regarding landing pages. And you can see there are a bunch of different templates. Some of them are promoting sales. Some of them are promoting a certain event going on. Some of them are just, you know, basic ones, uh, holiday ones. So let's say that i want to promote uh christmas like let's say i want a christmas landing page for my customers so i'm gonna just take this one over here at the bottom and i will click on this and click on select template and now we will start a landing page so if you want to do it you can do it for any holiday if you want to do it for valentine's day mother's day father's day it can work especially well because the best part is is that you have the optimization to cater it to whatever audience you want and you can use one template for multiple different landing pages so i want to go with christmas for everyone and then we have the timer now we have the countdown number you can add whatever you want in the countdown number however you want it to go uh we can just click on the color over here if you want to change the color as well you also have your spacing your padding your font size if you want to increase that if you want to increase the timer size i find it to be fine you have your border display and all these other options then you can just double click and change you can uh change the uh overall design of of this timer now going below that we have our little slides now let's say you don't want this slideshow you want to display items from your shopify store and i don't want to you know manually link every item i just want to display my products as they are directly onto this page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually remove this section so you can see this section over here i'm going to delete it and below that i'm just going to click on add element and I'm going to add a simple section over here. So I have this column over here. You can build multiple different columns or you can, you know, drop your elements that you want in your specific row. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add elements on the left side of my screen. And you have however you want to, you know, form it, however you want to lay it out, you can choose to do that. So easy way to build sections is to just click on over here into the section. So uh, we can click on show page outline, click on add elements and 
let's say you're not sure how you want to formulate it so you can just go into your add Shopify element we're going to do that later add third party element you can edit your third party element and integrate those as well into your layout now uh, what I'm going to actually do is that I'm going to delete these pre-existing ones that I don't need on my landing page so I'm just deleting some of these ones I'm just going to click on add new section first I'm going to delete this column this row as well and I'm just going to click on these blue arrows over here and you can see you have multiple different options on how you want to style it so you have a bunch of different pre-made sections that can help you in uh, displaying your products in terms of design so let's say I want a product display like in the form of a little section like this so you can click on this click on select uh, section and now we have our product list so what you're going to do from over here is that you're going to go into the left side of your screen then you're just going to click on add Shopify element and then you have your product list so you can just drag and drop the type of product list you want to display if you want to display it like this like this or like this you have three options so we can just go on ahead and uh, drag and drop this over there if this section is not working you can just delete it and go into add product list and drag and drop the column over here and now you can see our products are displaying i did not even have to add the product i just dragged and dropped it and it just started displaying my product instead of me having to you know manually set everything up which can be a little difficult now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to maximize the width and then we also have you know animation attributes however you want to style this you can style it now i'm just going to maybe move the section if you want to do it i'm going to change the description and i'm just adding a little bit of a description now if i click on over here i can click on add elements and add more elements if i want i can add dividers now in terms of your shopify elements you have product variants product prices you can even go on ahead and add, you know, product media only, but I want to add the entire product. Now, a great way to display your sale products is to add a specific collection. So uh, you can go on ahead and only, you know, go into your collection list and only show a specific collection if you want. You can only display that. So items that have been uh, specifically launched only for Christmas, you can add those over here. Now, what I'm going to do moving forward is that I'm just going to click on save on the top right and then you're going to change your title. So let's say on our Shopify store, this is going to be a Christmas promotion page. I can just click on save this page and I will also publish it. So I'm just saving and publishing the page and you later on actually have to go into your Shopify editor and you're going to, if you want to have this page appear in the menu in the navigation panel of your website, you're going to have to do that directly on there. But I'm just publishing it for now and I will show you guys a preview of what our page is looking like. So you guys can see over here we have dead and clothing. This is my normal Shopify store. Then we have our little promotional section and this is like the entire landing page. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with building your own landing pages using Pagefly. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.